everybody, my name is Paige, as you all probably know by now, and today is a very special video for you, one that I have woken up extra early so I can film for you guys, and I have hit 2,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I got so excited that I thought I would do a 2,000 subscribers give back video. You guys have given so, so much positive energy to me that I want to give some of it, I want to give some of it back. So on Instagram, a couple of, maybe a week ago, I posted and asked if you guys wanted me to share your Instagram accounts, and if so, did you want me to? Um, I asked for Q&A questions, I asked for YouTube channels that want to be shouted out, and I got a ton of responses, and I'm going to go through them with you today. So first off, let's film the Q&A. Alrighty, and I'm going to be, if I for some reason miss out a question of yours, I'm sorry, I've tried to include all of them and I probably just missed it. Shayna Cohen asks, what's the most embarrassing, funny fall or horse related thing that's ever happened to you? In general, whenever I ride bareback, I just can't stay on when jumping. I'm like, mm mm mm. Never fallen off while bareback riding, but I think the funniest thing is where I've just been toppling off the side and just been cantering on and I'm like, can you please stop, Pony? Canter to the top asks, what's your best achievement in riding? For example, when you first learned how to jump. And I did cross the country the last time I did it, just not going, getting overwhelmed and just keeping it quite simple and keeping staying focused on what I need to do and doing it. I just feel like my best achievement is just being confident in cross country because the first time I did it I was like a meltdown, I was even, I got to the point where I was crying but um, the second time I felt really confident. Riding Zeb asks, what's your dream horse? You know, I, I'm going to be completely unrealistic here and I really want a Frisian that will jump. This is a very odd combination but I want a Frisian that will jump and that has a personality exactly like Winston. Cant to Happiness asks, if you could do anything on any horse in the world, who would it be and what would you do? Well, I kind of feel like that I want to do it on Winston because I feel such a big bond with him. I could do one thing. I have always wanted to try, to, like, just you see it in movies so often, but how cool would it be to do trick riding? I mean, actually, like, get one of those trick riding saddles and, like, do a trick riding lesson. That'd be so much fun, and I would love to do that on Winston. I'm not sure he'd really like it, but that'd be so much fun to do. Scarlett Kaplan XX asks, if you had to pick a name for your boyfriend, what would it be? But I think it'd have to be Caleb. Even before I started watching Pretty Little Lies, I really like the name Caleb, and I think now that I do watch Pretty Little Lies, I think it kind of just has a good arm end to it, because he's such a good boyfriend in the show, that hopefully it'll play off if I ever got a boyfriend called Caleb. That'd be cool. Hannah Blake asks, what would you like to do when you grow up? It can be anything, even if it has a small chance at happening. It might not be the world's biggest difference maker, but I really just want to open up a riding school, have my own horse property and just open up a riding school. That's, honestly, so far is my biggest goal in life and it seems very strange because, you know, I did. I was thinking about being a vet and that but I've kind of just come to the conclusion that I would just be so happy doing a riding school and that would probably be what I'd want to do so much. Aka101, who I think her name is Ace, asks, what is your favourite horse colour and breed? What is your favourite horse at East Side? Um, my favourite horse colour and breed, I think my favourite horse colour would have to be, I think buckskin, I love buckskin horses, they're just so pretty, and I think my favourite breed, I don't know what my favourite, I don't really have a favourite breed, because let's move on to the Instagram shoutouts, just like to say for the Instagram shoutouts, just remember that if you wanted to put in a shoutout, you should follow my Instagram because that's what I told everyone about it. But um, also just remember, I would suggest grabbing a pen and a piece of paper and writing, because I have, I'm gonna be putting previews of their photos. So I would suggest grabbing a pen and writing down accounts you'd love to follow because I'm sure if you were on this video, you would want people to follow you. So make sure you do actually pay attention and you do actually follow these people because they do have amazing accounts. Also, some of you requested for me to shout out your account I did say that I can't do private accounts, so I did have to turn some of you down, but apart from that, hope you guys enjoy. Go ahead and check out the Instagram accounts, which I will leave right now. Let's kick start off the Instagram accounts with Nay on the left, and they are one of my favourite accounts on Instagram. They are two girls, Liv and Lani. Lani leases Winston and rides at Eastside, and Liv rides at Eastside as well, and rides with me on Sundays. And, um, 
yeah, you guys should go check them out. They post videos of the East Side horses, they post videos and photos of Winston, and yeah, they are an awesome account, so you guys should definitely check them out. They deserve way more followers. On the right is Pony Becca, and as you can see, she leases Winston, and she posts some amazing photos of him, so I know how much you guys all love him, so you can go follow her as well, and we're really great friends, and she's definitely a better rider than I am, so she does the more advanced things with Winston that I probably can't do, and yeah, I think you guys should all follow them, because they both deserve way more followers than they've got, and you will always get awesome photos, and they're very active followers. to life asks, what is your dream horse except for a breed color markings? Also, have you ever rode tackless? I already answered the first question, so I'm going to answer the second one. Also, have you ever rode tackless? Yes, I have rode tackless before, and I rode tackless on Winston. I did it the first time on Winston and the second time on Winston, so I've only ridden tackless on Winston before. If you say tackless, I did ride with a bridle one, so it wasn't completely tackless, but I did ride with that saddle. Um, when was your last major fall? Oh, wait, I just thought of something. And I did ride once with a halter and nothing else, but I'm not going to say where that was because I might get in trouble. Kelly asks, when was your last major fall off a horse? My last major fall off a horse was probably my first time doing cross country and I fell off and I was actually like in a state of like panic. Dressage all the way asks, do you think you will get your own horse? I think I will, but to be honest, I'm not expecting to get a horse until uni after uni somewhere around there i'm not expecting to get one any any time before then the silver horse asks what would you rather existed unicorns or pegasus if both could fly i think a pegasus because not many people know what they are everyone knows what a unicorn is but i would love to have a pegasus because i could be like i own a pegasus and they could be like wait what? what's a pegasus and i could be like you don't need to know i just have the most amazing creature in the world nisha question asks if you could be a famous rider who would you be I mean, alexander who is a show jumper, Olympic show jumper for Australia. Emma Locke 15 asks, I know it's gross, but would you rather brush your teeth with dog poop or wash your face with petrol? Love you, Paige. I think I'd rather brush my teeth with dog poop because I feel like petrol would burn my face or something. Who Fun Heart asks, if you could ride any horse from any time in history, who would it be? Example of Allegro, Secretariat, Farlap, etc. His name's Hickstead. I think that's how you pronounce it. And he was a world-class show jumper. He was an Olympic horse. He was amazing, but unfortunately, he something went wrong with his heart after his show jumping around, and he died, which is really sad. And I also saw the video of that on YouTube. But I think if I could ride any horse in the world, I would ride him because he just looked like such an amazing horse. Wouldn't go without a clear round, and I think he'd be amazing to ride. Remy Heyman asks, what is your dream horse? I've already answered this question. Um, so I'm not going to go again. I'm getting a lot of questions about dream horses. Um, Enzo Casmarie asks, are you going to continue horse riding when you're older? That is the plan and I hope I always do it. Tracy Chestnut asks, um, you guys are all asking about dream horses. I can't keep repeating myself. But the Crazy Chestnut, I have acknowledged you and I've seen your question, but I've already answered it. So I'm going to go on to the next one. Fine Adventures asks, what was your weirdest riding moment? I rode bareback for the first time, and when I was bending Winston like with his neck, and I could feel like all his like ske like top line like move, and it was really weird. Lost Pony Photos asks, did you know that there are real potatoes in chips? I think I did, but I don't think they really taste like real potatoes. Um, what was your greatest achievement you feel so far in riding? Greatest achievement feeling confident when doing cross country. Shannon Murphy 77 asks, do you have any goals that you would like to pursue in your riding? I think I just want to go to an actual show. To be honest, an actual show would be amazing. Quirky the Pony asks, how long have you been riding for? I have been riding for this year in May. I would have been riding for 10 years. Brain in Hands asks, most embarrassing fall. Have you ever fallen off somewhere that wasn't an arena example on a hack? Cross country, again. Most embarrassing fall, cross country, again. My Chestnut Candy asks, have you ever landed in mud? Do you prefer a large horse like Laddie or a small horse like Prince? No, I don't recall landing in mud. I think I'd rather ride a smaller horse because I just feel more in control and that makes me ride better. Amy Dean asks, who's your favorite horse at your stables? Winston? Question.
Jumping Gallop asks, how has Winston helped you improve your riding? Does it make a difference riding just him compared to other horses? Yes, he has a ton. Um, I kind of feel like we have progressed in a way at the same time. Like at first, I wasn't confident going out to the park because of past experiences and I felt like he wasn't very confident going out to the park. And we kind of got to that point where we were both confident going out to the park. So I think that was a very basic example, but I think he definitely has helped improve my riding. And does it make a difference riding just him compared to other horses? Yes, I think it does in both a way of good and bad. I would definitely prefer to just ride him than ride any other horses. But um, I also think to adapt to riding different horses, it repels very quickly your ability to adapt. Pony Becca asks, is have you most have you had your most memorable ride? My most memorable ride would have to be when I did cross country on Winston. That was like my, I think one of my favorite days in my life and that was amazing. And if not, is there one place in the world you have always dreamed of riding at? Um, I haven't thought about this question. In Hawaii, there's this place called Kualoha. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. But um, they filmed a ton of movies in this Kualoha Valley. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. I'm probably saying it wrong. I did a trail ride there, but they didn't let me do anything. Like, I was just walking, it was really boring, but how cool would it be to take Winston there and just gallop him up and down that, that Kualoha Valley, whatever. That would be awesome. In Hand Gallop asks, discipline you would like to excel in? Cross country. Horsey Maddie asks, what's your favorite horse breed? Probably an Arabian or a Frisian or something like that, just because of looks. Cross country or show jumping, I'd have to go with cross country. Um, biggest horse I've ridden, I don't know. I'm gonna go with Benny at Eastside because he's pretty big. <laughs> Jumping Ponies asks, if you were a horse, what would you be? Example, breed, color, gender, age, height, personality, best discipline, etc. If I was a horse, I would want to be, this is going to be completely unrealistic, I want to be an Andalusian, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't get buckskin Andalusian, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Um, I would want to be an Andalusian, I would, would want to be buckskin, I would want to be a mare, I would want to be about four years old, because I could be really young and crazy. Um, I would want to be about 16.1 hands high. I would want to be like really gentle toward people but still have a bit of a wild side. And my best discipline, I would want my best discipline to be cross country and show jumping. Horse Girl 360 asks, if you had to pick between a gelding and a mare, which one would you pick and what would be its name? Gelding. And its name would be. I think I'm on the spot. Um, I think his name would be. Liv Gallant asks, what's your dream horse name? Dream horse name? I don't know, I don't have one. That's my simple answer. I've, I've got no idea. That little pony asks, would you rather fall in a soft pile of poop or hard ground? I think I'd rather fall in a soft pile of poop because even though it'd absolutely stink, I probably wouldn't break any bones. And that little pony also asks, would you ever want to train a horse? Of course I would love to train a horse, that would be awesome. AW asks, what is your favorite thing about your sister? That she's very confident and she goes around and she talks to people straight away and clicks with everyone, unlike me, when I'm kind of there like, hi, how are you going? So um, yeah, that's one of my favorite things about my sister is that she's so confident and she'll go and talk to anyone she sees. Marcy, my friend, I told her to ask a question in my Q&A and she put like 10. So, I am going to pick one. If you were to be one of the PLL girls, who would it be? I'd love to be Hannah, just because she's so funny and she makes everybody laugh. anonymous so I'm just going to read what she sent in first of all I'm pretty sure I've watched all of your YouTube vids and I adore each and every one of them thank you um, you put so much effort into each video and it is so easy to see that and as a viewer I appreciate that so so much secondly the way you make your videos is so unique and in a fantastic way 
that is hard that is that it's harder to find an account like yours by this I mean that your main focus for your videos is informing the audience and not just showing yourself off through videos and giving viewers high quality entertainment and that is exactly what you do each of your horse videos is different from the last giving the viewers a completely new way a completely new view of your writing teaching skills and ways to learn from your writing your tag, challenge and makeup vids are all absolutely amazing as well. You set out things clearly for the audience to understand and being quality entertainment as well, which like I said before is hard to find across YouTube. Your videos where you teach people hairstyles are so so helpful, trust me I've tried a few, and they're so easy to use and appreciated. So overall your YouTube account is absolutely amazing and a massive congrats on 2000 subs, you so so deserve it. Thank you so much Anonymous because I know you're requested to say Anonymous, but um, it makes me so happy when I see these messages from you guys. They're, they're making me always cry. <laughs> um, this one is from The Crazy Chestnut. I think your videos are amazing. I've only been watching them for a few months, but you really inspire me. I really like you and your videos, and you have inspired me to lease a horse in the picture above. She's a stock horse man called Zara. Anyway, can you please feature this in your video? My account got deleted, by the way, so I don't have any followers, so could you please give me a shout? Of course I can. The crazy chestnut. Please everyone go follow her. She seems super nice and she has a very, very pretty horse by the looks of it. So go ahead and follow her. From the aspiring rider, the dot aspiring dot rider. Your channel and account honestly means so much to me. I turn my post notifications on for your account and every time I get notified about an upload or post, I immediately look at it. Without you, I wouldn't be writing each, each week as you were the one to tell me about each side in the first place. So I completely owe you and I want to thank you for that. You are an amazing writer and I learned so much from your videos. You are literally goals. I love you so, so much, Abby. That is amazing that you think that because it just makes me so happy and warm and fuzzy inside when I know you guys are actually benefiting from these videos. Thank you all for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope that you are featured in this YouTube video. If you don't want to miss out another opportunity like this, go ahead and follow my Instagram, which is... And yeah, it's been so amazing to give back to you guys and I just hope you enjoyed how I put this video together. I'm sorry that it was a bit late of an upload because I just didn't have any time to film it and I finally found some time. So I'll see you all next week where we will be back on track with um, horse videos and whatnot. But thank you all for being such amazing subscri subscribers. I'm glad that you guys benefit from the videos and I'll see you all next week and we're going to have a big group hug because I love you. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm actually hugging the camera right now.